Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my Hard Time series in Kerbal Space Program 0.25. And here we are. I just loaded the quick save up. I, all I did was I took the quick save file and renamed it persistent uh, so that it would be the main file. And so that way I don't have to attempt to load the quick save in, uh, in, in the game itself. Of course, it doesn't allow me to because of the difficulty settings. But I'm making an exception for this situation where it... Uh, it so cruelly destroyed my craft uh, and we're gonna try it one more time and it might just destroy my craft again and that'll be that I can't do anything about that then I mean I guess I could uh, load up a earlier save because I after every episode I I do zip up the saves and so I could just leave them in orbit or something like that and just not bring them down and then this would become a spacecraft, but uh, I don't know about that. So anyway, I'm unlocking the reserve fuel here. Everything mode, okay. Everybody's on air breathing. Same sort of approach profile that we had last time. I'm keeping the intakes closed for now until we get through the re-entry heating phase. Okay, well, I mean, until we're on the ground, I really don't know whether this is going to be going well or badly. So this is going to be tough. Jim and Bill look confident. I don't remember how they looked last time. Quite the phoenix returning back home. Hopefully it won't uh, go down in flames like last time. Okay, turn to the north seems to be okay. And we'll hold north while uh, we line up with the runway. And so that should be good. Now last time we already had two pieces off during this phase. So maybe it's better this time. Always the optimist. Okay, I think I'm gonna switch to the engines off because that'll allow me finer control over my speed. The vehicle is much lighter than it was on takeoff after all. Okay, uh, gear down. Trying again, gear down. Alright, gear down and locked. Okay, feet dry, 300 meters. One hundred meters. Whoop, come on, get down. Okay, brakes, 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 brakes. Okay, full stop. Brakes on. And engine shut down. All right, well, we got them down this time, folks. Um, yeah, yeah, no little bugs got to us. And next time what I should do is I should quit the program like right when I'm going to start re-entry. Obviously you can't save during re-entry, but uh, uh, yeah, quit the program before I actually get into re-entry so that the whole system cools down a little bit and then we start fresh and maybe then the bug won't happen. But, yep, alright, so Jim and Bill, 
Let's recover you. Okay, so 201.6 science earned from that mission. Uh, I don't think we transmitted any. I don't remember. Uh, been a while. Uh, we land on runway, so the full price of the aircraft, the the RK, was returned. 92,800 funds, minus the fuel, of course. And, of course, our two Kerbals are ready for other missions, though no new reputation for that. All right, let's take a look at the tech tree. So, where are we? Seems like it's been ages. That doesn't look very interesting. RTGs could be sort of interesting, but not really. Um, nuke. Could get nuke. Let's see if nuke is the main thing. Probe cores. Probe cores are always interesting. Well, we've already got the Probodobodyne Octo, so I don't see any particular reason for the Octo 2 or the Hex. Um, ion. Could go Ion. Big Panels. That's another interesting thing. The two interesting things right now for me are the Nerva and the Big Panels, because I want to build stations around so that the the DRK can refuel in various locations, especially interplanetary locations. So we put a put a station around Duna and Eve and Jewel and such, so that the DRK can refuel at them and then proceed on its business. Um, which of course means I'm continuing to want to use it despite the glitch, uh, which is one reason why I was trying to figure out how I could avoid the glitch in the future. Um, so for a station, well. We could have a station without the big solar panels for now. I mean, we could add modules to it. Well, we really can't, because, uh, you know, nothing really requires a huge power draw in this game right now. Um, it actually beats, I mean, except for the look of the thing, it beats me what the big solar panels are really for. Um, but, uh, well, maybe transmitting science? I don't know. I mean, only on a rare case would they be really useful to recharge quickly. But, uh, yep, I think the Nerva is the main thing, so let's unlock that. Doesn't really go anywhere, but I'm gonna really unlock it. Um, let's just unlock all of these parts now. We've got cash, right? Okay, it doesn't look like it's gonna cost us too much to unlock all the stuff that I left unlocked. Might clutter up our part list a little bit, but not too badly, I'm sure. Alright, so everything is unlocked. Let's go to the contract screen. So, our active contracts is Planet Flag, Planet Flag, Planet Flag, and then Explore, Explore, Explore. It looks like we need to head to the Jewel system to explore stuff. And so maybe the first station I'll want to place is a Jewel station of some kind. Yeah, that might make sense. Though I don't know if uh, the DRK can really get to Jewel with its... Well, barely. That'd be a tight call. So we've got a lot of Tylo and Val stuff, so that'll be the next thing I do. And then maybe we'll uh, pair that up with a Jewel station. Uh, we've got some substantial time to plant a flag on these places. So that's good. Okay. Let me see what I can cook up. Well, you know, none of the planets are really in line for transfers, so, I mean, Jewel will take a while. I guess the first one that would be likely to get in line would be Moho? Let's see. So, for Moho, I need it uh, 251 degrees behind, which is, what, 109 degrees ahead. So I guess that's approximately where Moho needs to be. I'm not sure. I, I think that's what that would be. It looks a bit weird, but uh, yeah, what it would mean is that the uh, spacecraft would go around. Moho would actually make a complete orbit and then end up here. Like, yeah, that makes sense. All right, uh, well, Moho is a tough, tough place to get to, much less land. Let me see if I can build a very small probe, not uh, certainly not a station or anything like that. The lightest possible probe, and with the nuclear engine, of course, to get there and land there. Okay, well this could go well or this could go badly. 
This is a tiny little lander right here and it's just got a tiny little fuel tank just enough to sit down on Moho safely. It's got some solar panels which I should action group. It's got the Science Junior, it's got the goo containers and the necessary um, instruments except for the barometer which will be completely useless. So yep, uh, no barometer but otherwise it's got everything, solar panels and then we've got the nuclear transfer stage which is uh, connected up as you can see here uh, my normal little trick with these little tanks and so it's got plenty of fuel I think it's about 6400 delta V there uh, the lander itself has like 1500 so plenty of juice in fact I've thrown in a extra little stage here even though I don't think it's necessary this is a poodle so yep it's good there's a poodle stage here and then here I've used some of the 3.75 meter tanks uh, with the mainsail uh, even though of course uh, we could have just done uh, 2.5 meter but the 2.5 meter version would have been a lot taller or I would have ha had to have uh, tanks on the side that I would uh, decouple I could have done uh, a fuel feeding into the center and uh, that would have increased my delta V but I thought this looked niftier for just this once except for the fact that for some reason these lines don't line up and that's really irritating but anyway um, it's got the benefit of looking okay huh these don't let me click on them okay I, I, I'm sure they're empty but anyway uh, I put the struts here just to make it look proper I really don't need that many struts I wanted to smooth out the lines there alright yep let's see if this works let's see if this works Obviously I'm not going for recovery on this thing. This is completely expendable and I'm sure the contract costs will cover all of that. So I'm not worried. Yep, uh, but completely expendable. Uh, the lander is just going to stay on Moho. I'm not going to bring it back this time. Alright, so let's, uh, let's get going. Okay, good. I at least calculated the mass of this properly so that it is going up on launch. Honestly, after bringing the DRK shuttle back, I'm not, uh, I, that, that was my main mission for this episode. I was just, uh, very anxious to get that back, uh, and, uh, seeing if that worked or whether it would fall apart. And so a lot of my energy has been expended on thinking about that and not so much, not so much focused on further things just yet. We seem to have a little bit of wiggle here. Just a slight oscillation of some kind. Anyway, I'll still try my best here. Okay, let's see if this sucker can turn properly or whether it's gonna... Oh, it's got a little bit of a wiggle. Try and do this gingerly here. It's got one of those advanced inline reaction wheels here and that's the only thing except for the pod zone torque the I mean the probodobodyne's torque that is active and then of course does the engine gimbling. Hope I'm not underestimating how much it's gonna take to hit Moho. I mean the key is the actual actually the inclination difference and correcting that and how much that's gonna cost. That's not necessarily something I can calculate very easily beforehand. That's pretty much the only thing I have trouble calculating f beforehand. Otherwise, I, I know the raw delta V for Holman transfer, but that doesn't include inclination difference. Ah, I didn't put any lights. Darn it. Really out of it today. Okay. So yeah, I think because of the stability assist thing in the newest version of KSP, the probe cores actually uh, take electric charge drain. Seen that way on in a recent episode of 0 0.90. Here, it, uh, only the reaction wheel takes electric charge when I'm actually turning the vessel. 
Otherwise, there's no drain. Okay, that should be a reasonable orbit. Yes, a little bit high. Oh good, we're at the ascending node. That's convenient. That'll make the transfer a lot easier if we can actually hit it. A little bit of skew here. Okay, not quite a home and transfer, but I'll take it. No, that's uh, that's only a eight minute encounter right there. You can see encounter eight hours, 58 minutes, and then escape nine hours, six minutes. Maybe we'll need a little bit longer than that. Well, looks like I'm gonna have to just wait until I'm closer before trying to fix it any further. Okay, well, I'll take what I can get. Okay, probably need at least three minutes to do this burn. We're gonna be dumping the poodle stage and going on, to, and I mean three minutes before the node, and then going on to the nuclear stage. So, yeah, let's start it now. Interesting direction to point in when you look at it. And that's because we're doing all sorts of stuff, including a part of an inclination change. We're doing a little bit of a radial thing. We've got uh, probably too much going right now, but here we go. Oh, uh, actually three minutes. Well, uh, we have to take into consideration we're going to be switching to the nuclear stage, so that's not quite right. Let me get the solar panels out. Okay, that's the poodle out. And there we go with the nuclear stage. Gotta throw it down just a tad because it's got that overheating thing. I don't know if that's still an issue or not, but... Nice big flame out of this one. As expected, a longer estimated burn time now. Okay, everything going quite nicely so far. We're definitely on an escape trajectory now still burning to make up the difference not quite a Holman trajectory but still I think we're going to be fine as you can see okay so actually 4000 meters a lot closer than I was uh, planning to get and a longer longer time there so very good we have our encounter. I don't think there's any need for a mid-course plane change. Probably not. And since we're burning out of the ascending node and hitting at the descending node, I don't think there's going to be much of an opportunity. Though, a uh, radio burn is possible. Alright, let's head out into interplanetary space. Alright. Off we go. Okay, interplanetary space, and I guess I'll... No, it's going to have the thing where it's going to let me only click on the purple orbit. So I'll have to zoom in real close to get the difference in the orbits down. Ah, forget it. Doesn't work. Alright, let's just go. Making sure that our solar panels are going to be facing the sun. Okay, so now, probably not even worthwhile doing a radial burn to get closer. Let's just... Yeah, get into orbit. Would it be worthwhile to do a radial burn to get closer? Let's see. So that's 3741. So let's say I do a radial burn to get closer, which costs like a thousand, and then trying to get it to orbit. Nope, doesn't. It's not worthwhile at all. Okay, just try to. Nope, nope. Get rid of that. How much time do we have left until we escape? Okay, well we have enough time. It's just not quite as efficient as I would have liked it to be. Alright, well, I'll see you at the end of this burn. 
Okay, should be getting close to the end here. Last minute or so. Still not quite in orbit yet. Quite a ways away from the intended node. Just pointing straight retrograde here. Nothing fancy. Okay, it's curving around. Getting... Getting there. And finally, we have a orbit around Moho. Sort of polar. That should be sufficient, around 53 kilometers. And so, the achieving orbit thing is done. We have plenty of electric charge. Let's do one of the goo containers and uh, probably the gravioli and all. Uh, observe mystery goo. Okay, transmit that. Yeah. Okay, 14 science achieved for that. And yeah, I really wanted to have one light right at the instruments, but let's log gravity data, transmit that. Uh, seismometer we can't do here. Thermometer? Can't be done. Okay. All right, well, let's bring orbit down and then we'll prepare to land. How much does it cost to bring the orbit down? Not much. It'll be easy. From here, it's easy. All right, just getting a little bit lower here. Pretty dense little planet, isn't it? Looks like orbital speed around it is higher than that around the moon. Let's do a retro burn here to make our landing. Okay, I think that's sufficiently cautious very much skimming the surface around there. I want to land around here, I think. Not aiming for anything in particular this time. I know about certain features of Moho, but we're going to just pass on that for this first attempt. Okay, I think this is going to take a while to do its thing. Let's see. No, not too bad. Not too sure I want to land around here, actually. Let's go a little further. Yeah, let's, let's aim a little bit high. Keep ourselves from dropping here. How about this valley here? That looks like an interesting place. Let's tilt a little bit. No, the other way. Uh, that's not far enough. Okay, let's actually point towards it. Be very definite about this. That way. I'm just taking advantage of all my fuel at this point to hit the area that I want. I think we're doing good. Alright. I think I'm gonna dump the nuclear stage now. Gear down. And now we're going to use this little guy here the 48.7S. Got very little reaction control on this now because it's just the uh, probodobodyne octo providing the torque. As usual, don't know how high the terrain is. But I've got the fuel to be cautious, I think. Hmm, a bit too much horizontal. Okay. Can 
continue heading down. Oh, too fast, too fast. Uh, too fast. Okay. Uh, all right. All right. Not the best landing I've ever done, but it's been today overall. At least we got it down. Looks stable. Let's get sciencing. All right. Transmit that. Yep. And with just that, our contract should be fulfilled. Yes, indeed. But let's get the rest of the science here along gravity data. Transmit. Okay. Seismic scan. Temperature reading. Up, oh, good. Up, oh, did it actually want to do that? There we go. And finally, the Science Junior. Ah, uh, we don't get very much for the Science Junior. We recovery is a lot more. But anyway, we'll get what we can get. All right, and I think that is that. We have done what we can here. We've fulfilled the contract. Let's go back to the research center and unlock the big solar panels. Okay, so here we are, and without any further ado, where are you solar panels? There you are. Unlock. All right, so we have the big solar panels. So next time, I'm going to look into station building, and that will be the big thing. So yeah, we got the DRK back. Uh, we went to Moho, got some science there, fulfilled the contract. And so it's been an eventful episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy this episode, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.